Hello, I'm very excited today on Friday the 30th of December because the first builds of Lineage OS are rolling out. Yesterday I showed some phones and today I went back to the website and saw that many other phones got support. So also the Samsung S3. So in this video we're gonna install the ROM. The ROM is about 300 and I think 20 30 megabytes so download it from the link in my description it's only for the Samsung S3 GTI 9300 and a big thumbs up there to my friend Birdie because in fact um, he worked on this room all credits to him will also be in the description um, what can you expect well I don't know let's take a look Hello, welcome back. There we are with the Samsung S3. Well, we're gonna remove the cable. It's been charged a bit. It's fully charged as you can see. So I'm gonna turn it off. Well, I'm not gonna turn it off. I'm just gonna restart it. And I'm gonna start pressing, oops, go. Pressing home and volume up and the home button. And now I press the power. I let go. It should bring us in the recovery mode beautiful so what we're gonna do here of course is we're gonna do a wipe factory data reset I think you all should know how to do this eh? otherwise yeah I think that this video was not even for you uh, and now we're gonna install a zip and we're gonna go to zip of SD card one and my ladies and gentlemen let me see where it is. Let me get it real fast for you. I'm not sure if you can read it there. Lineage 14.1. You see that? Lineage 14.1. Unofficial i9300. You see, and these guys could have gone for any other s3 out there you know but they went for the s3 9300 why well because i have the 9300 and made many beautiful videos you know showing all sorts of roms that were created by these guys you know so i think i feel that this rom was created for me for me personally so i can make a beautiful video of lineage os and what it is and how it looks finally i don't have to show some concept that i must go and think of how to create and and, and put up all sorts of lies in the system settings just to make the illusion even more real you know and with the lies i'm meaning uh, modifying the system settings i had a video coming up about that how to do it but uh, i decided not to post that video anymore so maybe when i feel that you guys are more ready for it because yesterday when you saw my video showing uh talking about that concept video that would come out how to create your own modeled concept you know um i also got some replies that i did not really appreciate it so i was like you know what i'm not gonna show it anymore how to do it up here we're gonna say no for fixing the root because yeah nothing should be fixed this this thing is already rooted okay so there we go big moment
nth it's still saying sine origin mod you see that um, next skip skip next so in fact this all stayed the same even the the start page kind of stayed the same would be nice if this would say you know lineage OS and in fact we have the same thing that we had already only let's go to the settings Android 7.11 model but here you can see it signed lineage you see that and this was not created by me <laughs> i did not uh, you see here lineage first see it's here it would say cyanogen mod version you see this editing i could never do you see Here, Nifo of Lineage. Here you can see Lineage. The kernel version. So, how to know that this is a Lineage? Well, here you can see it. At the Lineage version. And at the Nifo of the Lineage OS AP. So these are the only changes that you will see for now. So, um, yeah, um, let me play a little bit with it and then I'll be back to show you the end result. Okay, peeps, I'm back. Well, as you could see, um, not so many things changed, but I did some work on... Uh, on well not some work I just did a little bit of work okay because in fact um, I find it really nice to see that in the system we are already seeing that this is lineage OS but certain um, things like uh, boot animation and so I think they will also kind of uh, be changed so that's why this version is called unofficial um, we also get to a page after the install saying cyanogen mod that will also change into the new boot logo, uh, in the, into the new uh, logo, and of course you will not see Cyanogen mod anymore. You will see Lineage. So that's in fact um, why this version is in fact unofficial, but it was officially created by the guys of Lineage OS. Okay, so let's let's not make no doubt about that. All right, so this is the official thing. I'm gonna reboot the phone. So you can see what it became and um, yeah, uh, when I look at the system settings etc, I find out that the versions that I showed uh, effect just for the boot animation then, uh, but the rest effect did not change so much and uh, effect, yeah, it was a little few into the future what I let you look into and this is uh, my new updated boot animation for the lineage os it's saying 14.1 and you can read here it's saying uh, samsung gti 9300 so in fact yeah i think yeah for this room uh, it was nice to make a boot animation like that and in fact this is it peeps um yeah it's uh it's not so much different as what you already saw so it's not like you're getting a complete new operating system nothing like that um, these guys are building on the code of Cyanogen mod. So, in fact, um, yeah, these uh, these builds that I showed, um, and in fact, the little modifying that I did are now officially uh, it branded into the system. And let me show that one more time to you. If we go all the way down, my phone will say Android Lineage OS. Uh, Android version 7.11 okay 
Lineage OS Android 7.11. That is what it say. And in the model, I changed the GTI 9300 into Lineage Phone. Sure. But these are choices uh, and changes that I made myself uh, after installing this what you could also see in the video so in fact this is my first lineage build and I'm very very happy with it uh, I want to thank uh, thank birdie I want to thank the complete development team there uh, at um, at lineage of course Steve I want to wish him you know good luck with whatever he's doing there you know that concerns this project good luck there steve and of course all you others there i want to wish you a very beautiful old year's eve stay safe let nothing happen to these hands of you guys because eh? you need your hands to you know to work to type and you know you cannot let anything happen to your hands so be very very careful but that's also for all of us you know our hands are the most important things in life you know because yeah we don't want to lose them right so i want to thank you again for watching uh, if you think this video was okay leave it a thumbs up you know if you uh did not subscribe already subscribe to my channel you know and for those that want the boot animation after a request i will post it to my media fire so you can uh, make the illusion even well it's not the illusion anymore this is the real thing but then you can kind of already get the looks of probably what it might become in the future uh, of course i must tell you that this boot animation will be nothing compared to the one that these guys gonna create they're gonna create a real fantastic boot animation but it's just not done yet so after the new year after the old year is gone and we get into the new year we can expect all these little uh, things that will be done to the room again thank you for watching till my next video